Hi friends, welcome back to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I'd be showing the dory buttons or the cording buttons. I'd be using this jacket and one and a half inch strips for dory preparing. Fold the strip towards wrong side like this and start sewing adjacent to this fold. We have to prepare casing for the preparing of the dory. Generally, we prepare thin dory, but for this type of buttons, we can go for broader in. The more width the casing you take, the broader the dory size would be. See, this is how it looks. Now towards one corner, give the hand stitch by giving the tight knot and insert the needle reversely in the casing till it reaches to another end. Pull the thread and needle inside the casing softly. See the needle had reached to another end. Now start pulling the thread holding the needle with the another hand tightly. You can see here inside the casing a thick and rich in volume door is coming to another end. Start pulling it. Take your time. Do it little by little. Pulling the thread inside the casing. Slowly pull the gathers to another end. Once the another end will come out like this, then it will be easy to pull. Make sure the gathers is pulled to another end. Done with the dory making. This is completely optional depending upon the dory size or the casing volume. You can prepare the dory buttons. Remove the extras. The loop size here I'd be taking is 4 inches. And for the dory button making, you have to take double that length. That means 8 inches for the dory button. Here I'm showing the larger in size. To make it visible properly, this is how it looks. The loop and the dory button exactly fold in the center and give the tight knot. Now if you place both together, it should be like this. Make 
make it equal in length now place the loop and measure like this the knot head should come outside like this and mark it now turn the loop to wrong side like this and sew it on the marked line give double stitch and lock again see here i am sewing towards the wrong side of the loop trim off the extras now the same way we'll sew another side loop placing like this mark the length flip towards the reverse side or the wrong side of the loop place it on the marked line and sew it now we'll give the hand stitch holding the loops together without leaving any gaps and we also giving hand stitch in the center so that the loop won't get any slit or the gap in the center holding like this give two three stitches now if you sew this towards right side there won't be any gaps the same way we'll do for another side loop also make sure both together now measure the knot head placing like this the loop how much gap is required for that there will give the stitch that's it i've done with this story button or the cording button isn't it looking easy to do suitable for kurtis frocks dresses crop to make your simple garment into stylish apparel try this you'd love to wear it do not forget to like subscribe and share please do leave your comments suggestions and recommendations thank you so much for watching stay tuned